Folks, check it out. As you can tell, we've had a cold couple nights. You know what guys, since the water is so calm right now, I brought my kayak. I think I'm gonna launch it right here, paddle around so I can get to some other spots. Let's go. That's a fish, that's a fish. Here we go guys, first one. There we go. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, brown trout, little brown trout. Oh man, I would actually love to keep this guy because he's gonna have some pink meat and he would be delicious. But it's the first fish of the day. You always gotta let the first fish of the day go. Just like that, folks. <laughs> Hopefully he will be the first of many today. Ooh, that's some icy cold water. Well, we're on the board, folks. You know what, though? I think I'm feeling some trout for breakfast. So, let's keep fishing. Oh, there was one. Ah, just missed one. There we go. <laughs> there we go, folks. We got us a fish. Ooh, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, folks. Guys, look at this bad boy. Look at how pretty that guy is. Oh, man. I love these browns so much. There we go. Oh, there we go. Right by the boat. <laughs> Jeez. He hit it right by the boat. Let's just flip him in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? We're gonna keep this guy. Oh guys, here we go. We're keeping this dude. Beautiful brown trout, probably, you know, maybe 13 inches or so, but he's super, super fat and wide. Look at that fish. Man, this is gonna taste good. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. There we go, just a little guy. Oh, oh. Ooh. Whoa, this guy's got some fight. Gee whiz. <laughs> Check it out. Guys, we have a new species. This is a rainbow. Nice. Here we go, folks. Second species of the day. We got a beautiful rainbow trout. Not going to keep this guy, but that is a fun little catch there. All right, folks, well, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, as you can see, so I'm gonna head off the lake and explore some new places. All right, folks, spot number two. We're changing it up a little bit, fishing this little teeny tiny crystal clear creek for brown trout. Honestly, my favorite thing to do when the water's low and clear and you can just chase these little trout around. It's just so much fun. In fact, I can see fish right here in this spot. Let's throw this little tiny crankbait under there. I can almost guarantee we're gonna get hit first cast. Eh, well, never mind. Don't listen to me, folks. Guys, look at all these trout. Look at them, look at them. They're freaking everywhere. Not one of them decided to chase down my little crankbait. That is so unusual. Look at all those fish. There's like a dozen hiding under the willow. Good ones, too. Oh, there's fish right there. There's fish right there. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him. Ha, ha, first one, first one. I gotta get over there to land him. Oh, I don't know how stable this stuff is. I'll just lift him up here. Oh yeah. Guys, that is not a bad trout for this creek. All the other fish have been kind of finicky to chase stuff, but this guy just went right over, munched it up. I'm gonna have to just kind of toss him here. There he goes. Sometimes, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. And I've been fishing this creek for about 20 minutes now, and I'm not feeling it. Only had one that was willing to come up and eat it, 
but that's it. And I saw about 50 or 100 fish. So I'm gonna go cook up that brown trout we caught earlier because I'm starving. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to cook up that trout. I'm about to make a fire here. I've got these rocks on either side of the pit here. And then this is what I did last time I cooked over an open fire. I just set this metal grate right over, made a fire under here, and it cooked up that trout perfectly. I'm just gonna set some kindling right here. This is the only dry stuff I could find in the whole area because uh, everything else is wet and snowy. There's some sticks right over there. And then here we have our brown trout, fresh cleaned out. I'm just gonna set them right on the grate there. And for seasonings, we got some salt, pepper, some rubbed sage, and then last but not least, we're gonna throw some Ace's First Cast seasoning on there. As I'm just gonna set the fish on the fire just like that so uh, it can cook up through the skin and then at the end, we're gonna tear the skin off and make a sandwich out of it. I forgot arguably, arguably the most important ingredient, butter. Throw some butter on there. Ooh, baby. That might be a little overkill, but uh, I don't know, looks good to me. Let's go ahead and set the fish on. Move it a little bit right over that flame. And while that fish is cooking, we have our pieces of bread here. Some nice French bread. We're just gonna cover some butter right over the top there. And then we're gonna take some of the first cast seasoning and season the bread just like that. That looks good. I'm just gonna set it very carefully right there. Hopefully the seasoning and all the butter doesn't fall off immediately. We're just gonna toast up that bread for just a minute there. That fish looks like it's cooking up amazing. Bread shouldn't take too long. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, look at that. Some crispy, buttery, Cajun-y bread. All right, let's see if we can flip the fish over, see how it's cooking on the other side. Oh yeah, black skin, crispy black skin. We're not gonna eat the skin, so uh, that doesn't matter. But as long as it's cooking, through the rest of the fish. I think we're looking good. Look at that fish. Let's try a piece of it actually. That looks good. All right, here we go. Try this brown trout out. Ooh. Ooh, that is good. That is good right there. That is very good. Look at that. Look how per that, that that's cooked perfectly, honestly. I don't know what I did. That is an amazing fish. Oh my goodness. Alrighty folks. Let's start making our sandwich here. Usually people would put some uh, tomato and lettuce and all that kind of stuff. But for me, I'm simple. I'm just gonna throw the fish straight on the bread and we're gonna be good to go. Guys, check it out. Perfectly cooked fish. You can just take it right off there. Separates from the bone. Watch this. You can just pull that skeleton out. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh. Take that little bit of meat off. And there we have our skeleton. Oh, a little bit of meat left. Skeleton, we don't need that. Oh, look at these fillets. Boneless fillets coming right away from the skin. Oh my goodness. And to top it off, we're gonna just throw down some more of that seasoning because it, it is really, really dang good all right there we go set our other piece of bread right on there you got a fish sandwich there we go fish sandwich cooked on a fire mm. <laughs> this is like one of the best fish i've ever cooked honestly guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it if you did, go down there, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Definitely go out and try to make a fish sandwich yourself. Trout especially. Trout is my favorite fish to eat, as you can probably tell. But uh, you could probably do it with bass, bluegill, walleye, whatever. But uh, definitely recommend trying it with some trout. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.